Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. Very fascinating questions. The very first one had a person had a partial hysterectomy about six years ago and since then her hip is popping and really doesn't know what to do about it. So here's my recommendation. You really want to have some standing films taken of your lower spine. It is very possible, as you mentioned in the question, that when they were working on doing the procedure, your pelvis could have twisted and rotated. And we really specialize that. We see many people who have hips and pelvises that are tilted that respond to the type of care that we use in our office. So find someone that is really skilled in spinal correction and adjustments. Digital x-ray. You can always come and see us. Here's an individual whose husband has a trigger finger. It's kind of a, a snapping, annoying. They want to do cortisone shots to him. So here's my suggestion. We have learned over time that vitamin B6 is very important to help a condition called tenosynovitis, which really also could be considered a trigger finger. What I would encourage you to do is have some blood tests done. Look at your liver enzymes, ALT, AST. If they're low, it's a body signal that you do need or he needs B6. You may consider a phosphorylated B6, that's the type that we use, and also some flax oil, helps take away the inflammation. And there's another item that we use called BioCMP that has a combination of calcium, magnesium, and potassium. That helps tendonitis and bursitis. The B6 is also important, so I'm giving you three options here. A flax oil, a B6, and or BioCMP. You don't want to have the cortisone show, by, shot, by the way. An individual has um, been watching me on TBN with Marilyn and Sarah and Daystar, and she has anxiety and she just has some low feelings and wanted to know what to do. They said her thyroid was normal. I can tell you, we use a test called the Organics Basic Test, and that'll help us determine your neurotransmitters in your body via the metabolites in your urine, and also if your body has a deficiency in B vitamins. And also indirectly tells us how your thyroid gland is doing. I would really encourage you to have either the Organics Urine Test done, and we have great success using an essential fatty acid blood spot test that tells us the type of oil that you need. So it's usually a B vitamin need and or an oil need, but we're also starting to see more people who maybe take only one type of oil and then they have an imbalance. My husband has a chronic cough uh, for a couple weeks now. He's been taking Tylenol cold, was on a Z pack. Coughing's not going away. You mentioned something to the fact that you've been using local honey. I want you to know something. We don't promote honey. Nothing against honey, but it is 95% sucrose. And we have found in individuals who are chronic, not, or chronic cough, non-smoker, it's usually sugar and or something called adrenal fatigue or adrenal stress. Also, you may consider grinding up some calcium and putting the calcium in water, like powdered calcium, and drink that through the day. So calcium, either calcium lactate or citrate, maybe a teaspoon and a quart of water, drink that through the day. And I have found from my experience that lack of vitamin D, this is really important now by the way, low D could result in chronic bronchitis. I had a lady who had chronic bronchitis for a long time. She came into our office, we did a vitamin D test, her vitamin D test was 6, normal is 40. Dr. Bob, what are the best supplements for hypothyroid? The bottom line is it depends on your testing results. I would encourage you to have a TSH, a T3, a T4, and a TPO. I could give you a dissertation on what you need for each one of those items, but you want to have a blood test done. Dr. Bob, the crease on the ear that you talked about during the month, it's called Frank's sign, and it's premature um, degeneration or breakdown in the collagen tissues. It really significant if somebody has this crease I don't have one, but if you have a crease here in your ear and you're under 60 years old, you can do some a search on it. It's called Frank Sign, and I know that you mentioned you saw it on Dr. Oz. Last question, what's the best water to drink? I want you to know that I drink municipal water that's been filtered through a reverse osmosis unit. I know it tends to be slightly acid, but I eat a lot of green food, 
and I use Celtic sea salt. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor.